Okay, it is time to go down south. Uh, where we've got two of the 30 foot blue cat boats, which just showed up and these are hands down some of the coolest looking boats I've ever seen. And then we've got my 39 foot Midnight Express. Hunter's gonna be driving that. I'm gonna be driving this uh, cat right here, which is set up for speed, allegedly 108 miles an hour. Hopefully the video is doing this justice because these boats are just big and confident and they've got a presence and I love them. So let's go. My name is Les. You're the captain of this ship? I am the captain of this ship. This is a 30 foot blue cat. This is a brand new catamaran on the market. We pride ourselves on an oversized beam. So although this boat is 30 foot in length, it's got a 12 foot 6 inch beam. We carry over 500 gallons of fuel, carry 100 gallons of fresh water. Everything from there, the world's your oyster, my friend. We're a semi-custom boat builder. So depending on how you boat, uh, we can outfit it to you know, whatever your specifications are. somebody stuff. who's passionate about something that's actually really, really well built. What's your magic touch under there? Bro, that's unreal. I've never been on anything like this. It's wild. Thank you. Glad you like it, man. I need a 43. You'll really like that. Oh, you'll I really feel like, like I will. <laughs> Dude. But they have a 43 foot version of this. Whatever will hold a helicopter. And it's two or three feet wider. It's like 15 hey, feet Les, wide. Can we put a helicopter on it? Uh, yeah, a, a drone sized one or? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> we can build it strong enough. How much of that heli you guys got? We got a Black bunch. Hawk, <laughs> Black, Black Hawk's not going to land on it, but uh, Hawk our uh, A Star or a Dolphin would land on here. We have the yeah, Coast Guard helicopters. Turbo, What's that? All turbines. All turbines, yeah. So, Stillsville, see these houses out here in the middle of the water? So their houses, people people used to live on them years and years ago, and then the government took it over, except for one. There's one that you could be a member of a club and stay at, and it's kind of like a historic landmark down here. People used to do like a lot of drug running and stuff out of it and dropping things off. Yeah, so it's all kind of part of this whole area down here. This is the south tip of Key Biscayne. So it used to be a light indicating for the drug runners and stuff again, like good, not good, whatever. And then it got taken over by a bunch of kids and then they would turn the light on and say, hey, it's party time. And they would go all hang out down there in the corner and have parties. I think this is our lunch break, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's what they call the beginning of the keys. Well, that's what I'm calling it. You dropped your do-rag, man. You're going straight, like, Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> this is it, man. You gotta try and fit in. I can't you're gonna leave the glasses you in the car. I actually didn't know where they were. I'm glad you knew. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> My thoughts on this boat right here, the Carbon Fiber Blue Cat 30, it is unlike anything I've ever driven and it's causing the whole scene down here. People are walking by like, what is that thing? Like, it is a very unusual looking boat compared to what's normal down here. And I love it. It's fast, powerful, handles well, super comfortable, got all the features, big, plenty of space. It is the best boat on the water here right now, for sure. It's sick. But now I want to jump in the green one and try that because it runs a little bit differently because it's heavier and it's designed to sit lower in the water and more of like a utility style. Whereas this is set up strictly for speed. So 
can't get enough of this. I just got a hold of these guys and said, hey, you make a killer product. I want to see it in person. I hope it's as good as it looks on, you know, online. It's better in every way. So now we're headed down to Isla Morada, which is kind of wraps down around towards uh, the Keys, kind of around the bottom of Florida. That's where we're going to be staying tonight. And uh, from here on out, the ride gets really cool. We'll be cruising through mangroves and like intercoastal uh, waterway, all sorts of cool stuff. So the console itself is lower than a typical console. A lot of other consoles, they're you know coming up real high, so you, you don't have a whole lot of visibility. Right. Yeah. So if you were to put that down and sit, you can still. Oh, I love that. You can still see still the bow. The boat, yeah. Right. So Why does know? nobody do that? That's that's such a it's, simple concept. It's a very simple concept. And so obviously it is a fiberglass construction, but instead of doing like an acrylic dash, this is a, an option. You don't have to do this. Raw carbon. This is raw carbon. Same thing with the undergunnel storage. He was going on and on about the steering and he was not lying. So the steering in this is, um, it's Optimus EPS. So it's a really quick rate too, huh? Yep. So what it is, is it's actually uh, hydroelectric. So here at the helm, it's electric steering, mm -hmm. but then it goes back to some hydraulic uh, motors or uh, pumps, I should say, yeah. that we have hidden back there. And then the rest of it is hydraulic. So you have the advantages of hydraulic in terms of safety, stability, um, you know, the firmness of it so that the motors aren't shaking around yeah. doing all that weird stuff. And you have the advantage of electric here being that it operates like butter. Clear? about the last things that have run their, Girl, go. their, Don't their stop. ways through the, the hairs of Diesel Dave's chest. Probably oh. Yoohoo, sunscreen. If these chest hairs could talk. A <laughs> little bit of trans fluid. Or or like, ah! yeah. like that it's headed back to its home port and uh, we're gonna stay the night down here I just want to watch this thing walk you guys at least cuz I was gonna say watch it walk away and I don't know why I was gonna say that but it, I think I was trying to make like the leave that one alone <laughs> that's what I was that's that's what started happening but I didn't mean for that to happen that is such a great looking boat I'm just gonna sit here and take a bunch of pictures of it that I'll probably never look at again but Put them in the file <laughs> yep get them in the file Guys, I wanna know, what are your thoughts from what you've seen in the video here? Um, obviously, seeing a video is much different than experiencing it in person, but drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of these boats because I'm a big fan and I think we're gonna be able to do some big things with these guys. So, with that said, we got a link in the description below. It'll take you to the, either their website or their Instagram page. Follow up and uh, stay up to date with what they got going on because guys, it's only a brand new company, like nine months old here in the US. So they, uh, they got some big stuff coming and uh, if we continue to work with them, then you're gonna be seeing a lot more of them. I mean, in my opinion, that's the perfect boat, the perfect all around boat, not for water sports, not for wakeboarding or anything like that, but for just being on the water with your family, any body of water, ocean, lake, river, Blue Cat's the boat.